and I was going to stay out. <laughs> How many of you could hear the cars going down? Actually, there's one car going down. Very good. Did you notice that you were very active in an inactive situation? So you could tell your dog by being your dog, doing this. Three barks, so learn the family, then listen. Now if your dog is a dog that gets kind of frightened of people or needs to make a lot of noise, feed the dog with the two barks, listening, then growl, low growl, walk and growl, walk and growl. Even say that, walk and growl. We love it when you walk and growl in the backyard because you could still hear if you growl. And remind that dog, you can't hear a thing if you're barking. If you're barking and barking and barking and barking, you can't hear. It's impossible. This is what I tell dogs when it's appropriate to bark. Let's say you're in the backyard and you're not by your parents, or you've fallen out of the tree, okay? Yeah, <laughs> you've done that before. And you need help, you can't get up. Let's say you've sprained your foot, and you can't get up and your dog's in the backyard then your dog then is when you give him a picture. Bark and bark and bark and bark and bark and bark. Then somebody will come and help. Especially when the neighbors and you know that it's not a barking dog anymore. Way back there. Yes. Yes. You have to say it real loud. Maybe to one of the teachers. and say it real loud. Yeah, and maybe say it to one of the teachers. Can everybody talk to animals? Yes. Some people can do it more than others. Some people are visually oriented. If you're visually oriented, then you are an incredible candidate to do it. But I think because everybody can daydream and fantasize, they can give clear information to animals. It takes a little bit different skill to be able to quiet yourself so completely to receive the information. But people can do it. The biggest key to be able to do this is to trust your impressions. One of my most favorite quotes is from Albert Einstein. And he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And the reason he said that is that we could study and learn, but it's through the imagination that creates new things, like satellite, like somebody created the internet. Before that, somebody created our electricity. And it may be even one of you that might create a new energy form for us. Through the imagination, of dreaming it possible is where it starts. This little girl right back here. Yeah. Does your mom and dad know how? Is what, honey? Does your mom and dad know how? <laughs> my mom and dad no longer live. No. No, my fact, you know what? I have a, my son is 40 years old. Did you know that? I'm almost 60. I'll be 60 in about. Um, five months from now. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. Well, we, we can't take any more questions. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. But the more you practice, the more you fantasize what you want, the, the clearer the information will be. It was really, really, really good to talk with you. And be clear what you want to do. Stand aside and have fun. <laughs>